What's up, rock stars? Tim Sharone here. I teach singers and bands how to book great gigs and explode your whole music career. So today, uh, I wanted to go over um, the importance of being prepared, and I wanted to do, you know, some of these as just little mini day in the life things, real short reminders and stuff that happened to me throughout the day uh, while I'm going through my you know musical journey booking gigs and all that stuff so uh, let's get right to it today I was out and I went to a venue to book some acoustic gigs right solo duo or trio acoustic gigs now I'll get right into it so I go in and I ask for the manager and I'm sitting there waiting and I think oh this is important. It's, it's crazy how this stuff works out, right? It's just kind of, just happens to work out this way. So while I'm waiting for the manager to come out and talk to me, <clears throat> I had my postcard with me and everything. And I, you know, I, I figured I'd go into my notes and I would write down in my notes on my phone. So I'll show you. I mean, obviously, if you're listening to the podcast, um, I'm showing the notes part of, of my iPhone, right? So I go into my notes and I may, I have a little list in my notes of stuff for gigs. So I wrote down the name of the place and then I wrote down my pricing. So this is really important, like little things that you need to make sure that you determine beforehand. And a lot of times your pricing is going to be different for different places, right? So at least the way I do it. So if I'm going to play a gig and this gig in particular was literally right down the street from my house, maybe a four minute drive. So that I'm going to give them better pricing, you know, lower pricing than if I have to make a 45 minute drive or an hour long drive, I'm going to give them a little higher pricing. But it's really important to like, just jot it down on something so that you kind of have it in your mind. So I wrote down in the notes on my phone, pricing for solo, duo, and trio. And I swear to God, it's just crazy. The, 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 the lady came out, the manager. Um, I, I pulled out my notes and I asked her her name and how to spell it. And I, I put it in there to, you know, also to let her see that, you know, I'm professional and I'm organized and I'm putting her name. I want to know exactly how to spell it and everything, putting it in the notes. And then we just started talking. She asked me my pricing. Literally for solo, duo, and trio, she asked me my pricing. So I'm just like, thank God I thought of this beforehand. And so what she did was she took a pen and took my big postcard and she just wrote my pricing down right on the postcard. So I had it kind of on the top of my head and I had just written her name in my notes. So it didn't even look weird that I was looking at my phone because I was already looking at my phone, looking at my notes. So I was just like solo this much, duo this much, trio this much. So, you know, this is the same thing when you're doing phone calls. Um, I do this all the time because one of the things that, you know, the one thing that, that people might ask you and I don't usually have this in, in person, I don't have my full calendar because it's online. But especially when you're making phone calls, make sure that you have a, your calendar available because people will ask you when you're available and they'll ask you your rates. Those are basically the two main questions that people are going to ask you that you really need to know and that you need to have a solid, you don't, you don't want to mumble and stumble when it comes to your rates. You just want to give them their, your rates point blank, very confidently, short and succinct. You don't want to mumble and bumble your rates and try to uh, figure it out, all that crap. So um, there you go. I just wanted to remind you this happened to me literally today. So I wanted to jump on and, uh, you know, just give this, give you guys and girls a reminder as to uh, what you should have prepared and kind of written down on a little note. So when you're calling places, you know, you should have your calendar available if you need to pull that up. And when you're calling places, always write down your rate, whatever it might be. You know, if you're playing a festival, or if you're going for a festival, a full band, and it is a you know seven hour drive away and you're gonna have to stay overnight and get a hotel and everything, figure that out before you call them and have that have that rate, you know, if it's five grand, 
have that rate written down. It's important to write it down just so if they ask you, you just look at it and you bang it off with total confidence. No mumbling, no stumbling, no trying to figure stuff out. So there you go. Um, make sure that uh, if you have it already, make sure that you download your free guide, my gift to you um, on how to book gigs the easy way at howtobookgigs.com. And also if you want to do one-on-one -on -one classes um, that t with me, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've got a few spots open. And what I do is I take my students from where they are right now and we come up with a roadmap and a succinct plan how to get you to the next level in your music career. So just DM me, send me a message on any of the socials, or email me at nashvillehits at yahoo.com. We do it over Skype or Zoom. Again, email me at nashville, H-I-T-S, at yahoo.com. See you in the next one.